Every year, 5 million people in Canada will die from infections that take place when patients undergo surgery. The syndrome is called sepsis. Now, researchers in British Columbia have developed a new test that may help doctors determine if a patient will develop this toxic syndrome and stop it before life is lost. Here's Linda Aylesworth. Just a few days ago, Myron William was in a coma, had been for three weeks. The cause, severe sepsis. Your heart had shut down, your kidneys, the brain. When I last saw you about a week and a half ago, you were on all our life support machines. Do you remember that? No. No. It started like a simple cold, but within hours had oh, evolved into something what deadly. Just all of a sudden went from being sleepy, vomiting, and then just to in the hospital having fever or convulsions. Sepsis can be caused by any number of bacteria and viruses, things we can often fight off naturally or with minimal medical intervention, but not always. In some people, there's more uh, pathogens or bugs. Uh, there's uh, tenfold, twentyfold more, and that triggers a ten or a hundredfold greater immune reaction in the patients who go on to severe sepsis. It's that over-the-top immune reaction that causes the organ failure. Preventing it from getting that far requires knowing which patients will develop the deadly reaction. So treatment can begin earlier. We only know, unfortunately, as things start to go downhill. And we would love to know within the first, the golden hour, you could call it, of the patient arriving to the emergency department. Soon they will, because Dr. Boyd and his colleagues at the University of British Columbia and St. Paul's Hospital have discovered 30 markers, genes that when detected in sufficient quantities, mean that patient is at risk of developing severe sepsis. We think this can tell us four, six, even 12 hours ahead of the actual organs failing and let us jump on top of that. Sepsis is the number one killer in the world. In North America, it fills two-thirds of intensive care beds. I'm proud of how he's fought this and come this far. The new early diagnosis system isn't ready to be rolled out to hospitals yet. But when it is, there will be many more happy endings like Myron's, who can now look forward to meeting the newest addition to his family early next year. If it's a girl, I'm blessed. If it's a boy, then I'm still blessed. Linda Aylesworth, Global News.